Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the HES 9600 Heavy Duty Grade 1 Surface Mount Electric Strike to be used with rim exit devices. Shown to you here in a 630 satin stainless steel finish. Um, let's touch on the highlights of this strike. First of all, I like this strike a lot. It's easy uh, to install. It is fairly, um, it's, it's extremely versatile. You can handle right out of the package 12 volt or 24 volt DC. Okay, it's gonna come with a couple of pigtails here for either 12 or 24 volt, which you'll connect to here. Okay, if you need to do AC, you'll have to add a rectifier into the system, but there's uh, you can select that when you're purchasing the strike. Um, you're going to get three screws to mount it. So putting this into a steel frame, it's really correct to have the frame uh, reinforced for this so that you can drill and tap here and here. So there's three screws. The other one goes here. And when installing this, you're going to want to get your hole located onto the frame here and here, drilled and tapped. You're going to want to confirm correct operation of the exit device. Do any lateral adjusting as necessary. And then once you know you got it perfect, then you do this one, and then it's a done deal. That one's not, doesn't have oval adjustment like this one does. Like I said, it's grade one, okay? It can handle up to 1,500 static pounds of strength on it, so that's quite substantial. It has a solenoid up here and down here because you got these two triggers that basically release. This can be uh, field selectable for either fail secure or fail safe. Fail secure means when the power is out, the strike is locked. That's secure. Fail safe, when the power is out, the strike is unlocked. So depending on how you're going to energize this circuit will determine uh, how this will go about working. Typic most commonly, fail secure is used where it's not energized. The logic there is in the event of a power outage, Let's say you had fail safe and it was always energized. In the event of a power outage, this would be unlocked. That may not, that is not a good thing for exterior doors. Fail secure is more common in that regard. Um, although, uh, you know, the fire department likes to be able to get into a door if they have to, and having it unlocked is easier than having it locked. Um, I have installed these, I've used these. Uh, they, they work, they're very good. Uh, one time I had a problem with it is uh, the one trigger wasn't working. The one solenoid wasn't working where the other one was. Long story short, the client had very thin gauge wire running over 500 feet in the strike. Once I put a voltmeter on, it wasn't getting the proper amount of, uh, you know, anything to operate correctly. So that was that was the issue. But speaking of that, there was a guide and there's a link below this video to the instructions. There's a guide there that shows what gauge wire you could be using based on the distance. Okay, There's your electrical uh, properties. Amps 0.45 and you can see there it's 12 volt. Or basically a quarter amp if it's 24 volt. Okay. Moving through the instructions and I've covered pretty much all of it just in my field experience, my you know life experience having used it. Uh, you wire it correctly. You obviously have to drill a hole in the frame, either down. You can see that there are two holes, two holes on that right below my finger there. There's two holes. That would depend on whether you're installing it this way or this way, because obviously the wiring harness, okay? Latch bolt monitoring is available with a strike like this so that someone at a central control panel can know uh, the, uh, uh, you, can have a, you can have latch bolt monitoring and strike monitoring. You can know the condition of the strike, the state of the strike. You can also know the state of the latch that's in here, and that would be a separate device. There would be a switch in there, a latch bolt monitor. That's helpful. Think healthcare. Think. Uh, you know, uh, places like a nursing home. The, the staff needs to know on those doors that no one's trying to, you know, leave the building, um, which is a real concern 
Uh, uh, oh, back to fail safe, fail secure. Um, changing it is quite simple. You've got to change it up here and down here, but all you're doing is loosening, not removing, loosening these two screws. Right now it's set to F secure, fail secure. So those two lines are at fail secure. Loosen them both, shift them up and tighten them down. Do it there, and then of course do it at the other end as well. Uh, after that, obviously running power to the opening is something that should be thought of before the frame is installed. You'll want to have wiring pulled to the back side of the frame uh, for an electric strike, but a new construction, all that sort of stuff would be uh, determined well beforehand. And, uh, you know, you know I, uh, I really like um, HES products. They're, uh, when they first came out on the market several years ago, they solved a lot of problems uh, that, you know, were, you know, that if the job had afterthoughts on it, oh, we want to add an electric strike, these kind of HES, they're they, innovations. They have innovative solutions to stuff. Got a couple of set screws, by the way. I don't want to forget to mention that behind here and here. Okay, that's going to help um, eliminate the ability to tamper with the strike at all. Keep the screw where it needs to be, that sort of thing. Okay, you don't want those two bolts loosening. So there's a set screw here and here, and when you draw them down, they'll hit the head. And what they're going to do is help, you know, when the door closes and it's constantly hitting against the strike, it'll help keep it in place along with keeping the screw uh, in position as well. Innovative is the bottom line. Any questions on this or any other HES product, please feel free to reach out to us. Thank you.